Hi everyone, welcome to Hashtag Career Goals. I am Veronica Alfonso and welcome again to the place where we introduce you to the different people that can hopefully motivate you and inspire you to choose the career of your dreams. Today I will be talking with Dimek. He's a front-end web developer from Poland and he was not so long ago actually a physiotherapist. He will tell us all about his journey and his tips and tricks that he used to actually get a job in this industry with no experience at all. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. So thank you, Dimek, for being here and for accepting the interview. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me here. So can we start maybe um, with you telling us about what is it that you do, about your position right now, and where are you working? And yeah, yeah, I currently uh, work as a front-end developer. Um, I work from home, uh, and right now I'm cooperating with uh, one of the Czech Republic uh, companies. It's a company who um, develop uh, websites with a booking engine for hotels and uh, other objects with uh, booking. So maybe for everyone that's listening and watching, can you describe a bit more about what it is front-end web developer? What do you do? Um, which people do you work with? Like, describe it and explain it a bit, like for an eight-year-old kid that doesn't know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, a front-end developer, it's uh, mostly like what people see is um, a guy who develops um, a website or a web application and this is what you see uh, when you enter the website okay so uh, most of it uh, is what front-end developer do in really big short description um, what uh, also we do it's something that you cannot see uh, it's under the skin of the website uh, because of course, we use uh, HTML and CSS to make it to make the website look beautiful and to put everything yeah. um, on the right position. But we also use, for example, JavaScript to make some logic to make it uh, work like you want to. So uh, this is kind of my job. I mostly work uh, alone, but uh, I cooperate with uh, the sales department because uh, they. Uh, define the clients yeah. who wants our services and um, and they tell me what they want, uh, what the client wants right so uh, they tell me what kind of uh, website they want uh, more or less and uh, what they need to uh, what they need to have there so um, I give those basic information and then I work with client directly yeah by that client do you have someone that is also a developer or has more technical experience? No, absolutely not. This, uh, um, this is, for example, uh, like you, right? You don't yeah. have, to, for example, you don't yeah. have uh, at all any tech uh, tech um, knowledge, yeah. Yeah. and you need a website with some engine you want to be, uh, or anything else, right? So uh, you call me, you email me, and uh, I don't need to tell uh, any of those complicated. Yeah. Uh, details, right? You just mm -hmm. I, I just ask you some questions, you answer me, and I give you the result. And this is my uh, this is my job. So uh, yeah. I contact with client. I show them results if they like it or not, uh, yeah. or I just um, I just give my suggestions because uh, sometimes clients um, don't have an idea of the website. So um, I know what uh, modern website should look like. So. Uh, I just give some suggestions uh, and they like it or not. So you basically work by project right now and you contact the, the customer tells you what they need, what they want, what, what they envision, that is that um, they're going to have as a product and then you just make it possible. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your beginnings. How, how did you decide it or why did you decide that you wanted to pursue a career as a web developer? What made you take the leap? Um, well, uh, I used to be a physiotherapist for a couple of years, uh, but it changed and um, 
I don't want to get into the details uh, about it uh, because it's not so important. But uh, the most important thing, uh, thing is I wanted to make, cha make a change. And uh, back then I was uh, 26, 27, something like that. And uh, I've been wondering um, about new career. Yeah. So, yeah, I started looking for some other opportunities. But I met a few programmers and uh, they told me about the job and uh, I met a bank developer, the mobile app developer and a front-end developer and uh, the front-end developer seems to be the easiest way to be honest uh, to pursue this career but uh, the back-end developer being a back -end developer was the most um, how to say it, the most interesting for me back then. Uh, they told me about this, about that, how they, uh, how they uh, job look like and I started reading. They give me a, they gave me a hint, right? Okay. So I started reading and um, it showed up I'm gonna like it. So I started learning uh, by myself for a little bit and then I uh, decided I need to um, I need someone to help me. So I signed up for for a boot camp. Yeah, that was the next step then that I wanted to ask you about because actually for everyone that would like to to check it um, he has an article that he published and there he shared all of his experience about his journey and how he started and he actually got a job finally in, in the industry. So it's really interesting and you can check it out. And there you talk about your bootcamp. And I wanted to ask you, like, why did you decide to go for a bootcamp and not actually do it by self-studying? And do you think is that you actually learn everything necessary for you to get a job in the industry yeah of course you can learn everything by yourself but um, it, it will t uh, it will take some time more time yeah. my bootcamp lasted for seven months seven months or so and um, when you go for a bootcamp you got all the knowledge in a pill and yeah. the, the pill is given to you right but uh, when you s decided to learn by yourself, completely by yourself. You can yeah. ask people, of course, you can Google things, but um, there, there, there are so much knowledge in the internet. It was, uh, it was easier, it was uh, faster, for example, for sure. But uh, learning by yourself is possible, but not so fast, in my opinion. So do you think that you, without um, the bootcamp, you can actually do it? But yeah. it's for you, for your personality, you knew that about you, that it was going to be way better if you just sign in and you had the support from other people. And, and probably the, it's, it's like you have a commitment as well. So you feel obliged to actually do things every day or every week. And yes, yes, the goal. because, uh, because uh, bootcamp costs, right? So I paid some money yeah. for it mm -hmm. and there, there was no turning back. So um, I had to do it. And how did you get your first job finally? Like after the bootcamp, you, you say, okay, I'm ready. I graduated from this and now I have some skills and tools to actually do some jobs and do some work. But how was the application and yeah, the application process or the job search process? Tell us about Yeah, that was the hard part. I thought yeah. that being a bootcamp was the hard part, but uh, finding the first job, wow, that was something. Um, With no prior uh, experience. That's the hard part. The Absolutely hard part. no, uh, no experience, yeah. and uh, only in my experience there was uh, physiotherapist for a couple of years. So, uh, yeah. and in the skills there was there was uh, JavaScript, PHP, etc. <laughs> so it was kind of confusing, right? Uh, yeah. What this guy really wants from us? Mm -hmm. So I started applying um, just before I finished the bootcamp, and I had uh, first interview, and yeah. uh, it went well. But, um, well, lack of experience still. So um, I got a few interviews uh, before I got my first job. When I got my first job uh, as a junior from the developer, it was uh, something like um, they gave me the opportunity to get an experience to work some on a project, but uh, I didn't get paid. Okay. It was like an internship with no payment at all. 
Yeah, yeah, and it was a work after hours. I still got my uh, non-developer uh, job. Work was remote, for, first of all, and um, I didn't get any serious, uh, serious task for it. So I just felt it that it, it's not, not a, much progress. No, every yeah, day you did things. Progress in my skill. Uh, I just I've been learning by myself yeah. other things, but it, it I just didn't feel felt it right. Yeah. So. Um, I started looking for another job, for real job, right? When I can learn something uh, actually and where I get paid just some money. <laughs> and, um, but it was hard as well. So, because uh, as I said before, physiotherapist, JavaScript, right? It was confusing for all. I, did, <laughs> I made a, a big step in my career. I had to quit it, just like you that. You quit your job. Yeah, just like that, without, yeah. I mean, your nine to five or your full-time job, you quit and you said, I'm going to dedicate completely to applying to jobs and finally getting my yeah. web developer job. So, uh, well, it changed everything because um, when uh, suddenly I uh, went for an interview and they see my lack of experience, my lack of skills, etc. But they, when they asked me, where I can start, they uh, were shocked when I can say tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah, it was something. That was your uh, change everything. Yeah. So they prefer to have someone right now and just train them for the exact same two months that they would wait for someone else. So either way, for them, maybe it wasn't such a compromise. Yeah, something like this. Cool. That, that, that's nice. You also mentioned about creating a video resume. Oh, yeah. And sending uh, this. In your article, you mentioned this. Tell us about that. Yeah, I got zero, absolutely zero uh, interviews in one time. And then I post um, an update, my status update on the LinkedIn profile yep. that I'm looking for a job. I don't absolutely don't know how, but from zero in two days, I've been in tough, into um, 14 um, recruitment processes. Okay. Yeah, and it was stressful because um, there was a time I didn't remember who I already talked to or talked to about okay. what. Yeah, everyone uh, was um, messaging me about this. I sent them my video. Oh. I made this video. Yeah, I made this video just to because I was, uh, to be honest, I be, I was tired uh, of answering answering all those questions. Right. Same questions. Yeah. yeah, same questions every time. It was just, I was just tired. I said to myself, well, I record a video and I just send them and they can yeah. listen to it. It was fun. And they get yeah. to know you a bit, of course. And, and there's, you can measure more or less the chemistry with someone and see how they talk, how they express themselves. So it wasn't a really bad idea. It was a really yeah, cool idea. Yeah, of course. And it was, so, uh, it was also my idea to show um, all those uh, recruiters and HR people that I am not joking that I'm looking for a job and I've been a physiotherapist because yeah. it wasn't very common back there. In the end, uh, there was two companies. Uh, one was uh, the um, largest and the oldest company um, okay. in the world and uh, they really wanted wanted to hire me i didn't know why it was quite <laughs> i i was suspicious about this you know, because why, to hire me why so. did they want me yeah yeah it was strange because everyone uh, was pushing me around by this time well, and actually I've heard that it's really good for companies to to have really young talent and fresh talent because they can just shape it and train it however they want so maybe yeah, you were maybe one of I those have... cases yeah but the other side there was a small company yeah some some people were um, surprised because uh, the big company offered me a software developer job yeah with quite good uh, money in the beginning and the small company offered me an internship with low salary yeah so um, but but I back then I just thought the small company will give me just uh, more knowledge more contact okay. with people and more experience and I think I'm not I wasn't wrong and then 
So do you have any trips or, uh, tricks or, or tips, advice that you can give people, web developers, young or beginners, juniors that want to start in the industry, they have no experience and they just want to start the job search process? Oh, I got a lot of tips for them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Okay, so first, the first one is uh, just think if you want to really do this. If you want to code, you want to be a programmer, um, you have to think what do you want to do? Because uh, I am asked many times that uh, I want to be a programmer, how can I start it? Yeah. First, you have to know what do you want to develop. Right, because you can uh, make web apps, you can mob, uh, make games, you can make uh, software um, programs, you can make um, mobile apps, anything, right? Do you think it's really helpful if they go for some maybe programs and try to experience the experience how to be a web developer or an app developer? from first hand do you think it's helpful if they just go and try to do it and they have to they have events? to do it. before i started uh, learning web uh, developer tools i started learning uh, c++ a completely different language right and it is quite hard so uh, i learned something i found it hard for me and uh, also i didn't like it as well because um, I didn't see much uh, me much in this uh, in this field, so yeah. I started looking also for uh, other uh, fields in uh, being a developer. So um, people have to try, okay? They have to learn. So uh, this is the beauty of um, our job. That and this is also um, a tip for the beginners. You can uh, also you can choose choose any field. Uh, for example, being a web developer and work for a couple of years uh, in this field, but you can always say, I want to develop mobile apps. Sure, you just learn your language, you already yeah. know some language, the logic is the same, the syntax yeah. is different, so you just learn it and you can apply it. So can you name two pros and cons about working in this industry in, yeah, as a web developer? Um, for pros, uh, well, this is my office over there, and yeah. I am at home mm -hmm. right now. So I wake up, I make few steps, and I'm at work. So uh, this is yeah. uh, the, the biggest advantage I got. So uh, we were, we've got car hours mm -hmm. uh, from from ten to uh, to three p.m. I guess, uh, and oh, in, okay. in those hours you have to be at work for, for yeah. this. Uh, Connected, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we can start uh, later working or sooner. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's up to us. The, I guess those, those uh, are the biggest advantages yeah. of this. And uh, for the disadvantages, well, um, I don't want to complain. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I just want to like show people how it really can be i mean it's super nice to have these things yeah, but okay. every job has their not so nice aspects okay. of it. so um the thing that all people who wants to be in this in the it field uh, they have to be aware of that this is still a job right it's yeah. not like um well uh, example it, um, it may look uh, beautifully free. Uh, oh, this guy just sit in the computer, write few lines, get paid well, and he has so much time for other activities. Yeah. Um, no, it's still a work. When uh, when something messed up, uh, we have to sit after hours, yeah. for example. Uh, until you finish it. Until you and finish you it. You have to find the solution. Or, course, yeah. because, uh, you are working, you have to be aware of that you are working with a client who is waiting for a solution, who is waiting for your product. So what would be your advice for everyone that would like to start a career as a web developer? Your first advice, like this is something that you have to get in your mind and just have it for all the way through the um, job search, your first job, the stressing moments. Mm rest okay. this is yeah, yeah this is very have a balance because um, many people 
work and learn so much they for, forget about uh, rest and uh, this is harmful yeah. because uh, for your body and for your mind when you are not, when you are tired uh, when you are stressed because you are tired you don't you don't sleep well um, you don't get any more knowledge to your brain right yeah. or uh, you you cannot work properly product you, you are not so productive so I think these are all my questions. Do you have anything that you would like to add? No, I guess uh, we talk about uh, everything. Pretty much everything. Yeah, so pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, if we come up with some other video ideas or if anyone also watching has anything that they would like to ask or they, that you would like to um, also know and have videos about, tell us in the comments below and we will make um, yeah, we will try to do it, of course, and, and try our best to, to deliver as good as we can. So yeah, Dimic, you can tell us maybe about your social media, uh, your Instagram account. I really loved it. I found you there, and I think it's really helpful for anyone that wants to follow something that someone that's being really consistent. I think it's really nice to follow you. So tell us about your social media, your Instagram account. So if you want to follow me on my Instagram, uh, you can just find me by... Um... Uh, type in the search box uh, dmac.js yeah. uh, so it will be the easiest uh, to find me I also got my uh, medium account when I write uh, articles from time to time it's also dmac I guess <laughs> I, know, I don't remember all my nicknames over there but most of them are in dmac uh, so those are the two main social media I am active on so Great. if you want to follow, just go ahead. If you've got some other questions, I will be happily to answer all those questions you've got. Of course. And of course, please hit the subscribe button and so you can find more content like this that's coming up yeah. in, and thumbs up, of course. <laughs> thank you very much, Dimit, for being here. For yeah, thank sure. you so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye.